Um, yeah. Yeah. So part of that, it's definitely um, getting the feedback also back. Like mm -hmm. you actually need to get in there, industry, yeah. get in the community, get in the recreational centers. Mm -hmm. uh, mental Health Monday. 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 So, how does your, how is your work implemented exactly? Mm -hmm. So, in many ways, what I do, for example... Should I brush, wash these brushes off or just mix can, it? We can have water if you okay. want, but right now... Do you like, use water? Sometimes I don't. Okay, well, we're not going to use water then. <laughs> sometimes I know, because, like, mm -hmm. it gets you to challenge on, like, where do I scrape it? Um, mm -hmm. Do I take it off? Do I mix it? Yeah. Um, so, stuff like that. Um, again, community. Mm -hmm. um, I right now work in a site that's very connected to having private practice, but at the same time, we give art therapy to community outside in our area. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been very fulfilling to make the connections and start planning for them to have even just at least one intern, for example, in their space that they can work with mm -hmm. in different populations. So it's is, been, that a, is that how you open the doors to community? I feel like it is because uh -huh. sometimes there is a wall between huge, huge between wall between huge wall services. Yeah, it's huge that it, it, it needs to be breaked. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, it needs to be mm -hmm. <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> So when I was uh, growing up in East Orange, New Jersey, I was a patient advocate in high school mm -hmm. from like my freshman year all the way up to my senior year. Mm -hmm. And I would always get a little bit peeved at the placement of the community outreach, which was a truck in the parking lot mm -hmm. of the hospital. And I was like, how is this community outreach if we're still at we're work? Mm -hmm. That's not community outreach. <laughs> You just told them, come here and look come at a here. different part of the hospital. That's not, <laughs> yep. how is that community or outreach if yep. we haven't given them anything that they don't already pass by and look at? Yeah, we're not going anywhere but here. <laughs> and they would always reframe it on, but but they're getting testing for this and like, look what we're doing. And it's mm, like, yeah. yeah, that's the issue. Look at what you're doing. I was like, is that a budget thing? Is that a liability thing? Right. I talked to a lot of people about the word liability in America and how mm -hmm. I feel that really gets in the way of like really getting work done. We yeah. can't do that yeah. because of the liability of this, the liability of that, and the liability of this. But it's like, well, if you're looking to heal people, the word liability is always going to stand in the way of actually getting the work done. It limits everything. Yeah. It limits everything. And it's like how much of that liability thing that you guys are spreading and speaking on mm -hmm. is actually dealing with us helping people mm -hmm. or is it dealing with, well, it affects our bottom line if we were to do it that way. Right. Because sometimes it's not even about the other. It's mm -hmm. more about the inside security yeah. problems. And the thing that they don't want to talk about out loud because yeah. if they do, it's going to be a discussion topic and oh no no, no. woe is me that. in the day that they figure out <laughs> oh no yep. we're actually not doing the right thing because of reasons outside of what we told them yeah yeah so part of that it's definitely um getting the feedback also back like mm -hmm. you actually need to get in there in the yeah. street get in the community get in the recreational centers mm -hmm. um to see what they need it's not just like oh we can get the service to them um, and we have this pre-planned thing. Mm -hmm. No, it should never be like that because every population has their own needs and there's always differences too, so. Like how I made sure not to set the cameras up until we had the art up. <laughs> there you go. And then I was like, all right, well, we'll set the cameras up now. <laughs> uh, yeah, you kind of set it up like that, yeah. But for example, that truck, mm -hmm. um, maybe they would have impacted, yeah, people from the area, mm -hmm. but maybe they didn't even ask if that community needed that. Yeah. Maybe that truck would be more useful in another space. Mm -hmm. um, but then that's when marketing gets in the way of the work too. Mm -hmm. We get this big truck so we could put posters of our services right. and what we're looking to do for folks in the community up. Mm -hmm. But like the truck doesn't really serve a purpose outside of being a big billboard yeah. that advertises this hospital is here, even though people are right. in the parking lot of the hospital that's already there. Right. That everybody's aware of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. So intentionality always comes with the work. Mm -hmm. If there's no intention, true intention. Yeah. Or if it's 
like that conflicted or just like I don't know disguised mm -hmm. I don't know how what it impacts as well as, as a genuine you know interaction yeah but yeah that's funny when you 